panning is a crucial aspect of mixing that can add depth and dimension to your tracks. Here are the top 5 tips to help you master the art of panning. Understand the stereo field. The stereo field is the space between the left and right speakers. Understanding this space is crucial for effective panning. Imagine your mix as a stage, with different instruments occupying different positions. This will help you decide where each sound should be placed. Balance is key. Balance is crucial in panning. If one side of your mix is heavier than the other, it can be disorienting for the listener. Try to balance elements that have similar frequencies on opposite sides of the stereo field. Use panning to create depth. Panning can also be used to create a sense of depth. By panning certain elements to the back of the mix, you can create a sense of distance. This can be particularly effective for elements like reverb and delay. Don't overdo it. While panning can add a lot of interest to your mix, it's important not to overdo it. Too much panning can make your mix sound disjointed and chaotic. Use it sparingly and purposefully. Experiment. Finally, don't be afraid to experiment with panning. Every mix is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. Don't be afraid to try different things and see what works best for your mix. Panning is just one tool in your mixing toolbox. Used effectively, it can help bring your mixes to life. Happy mixing! Please leave a comment with your own tips and what you would like us to cover next. Also tickle that like button and hit the bell and subscribe notification for more no-nonsense tips.